Peaceful protests for justice and change continued across the Miami Valley today. One of the protests was for a group of health care workers and medical students in Courthouse Square. 2 News reporter Chris Nascow live in downtown Dayton with more on their message. Yeah, Adam, dozens of people rallied here in Courthouse Square this afternoon discussing issues related to racial disparities in regards to health care. It's something that the governor and the Ohio Department of Health director just discussed at a news conference last week. They also advocated for more diversity in the field. This group rallying in Courthouse Square, known as White Coats for Black Lives. Dozens of healthcare workers and med students calling for more diversity in the medical field and raising awareness about the racial disparities related to health care. The access to health care and the cost of health care is too prohibitive for too many people. I think it's really important for us to become educated on this so that we can serve our community in the best way possible. Dr. Rhea Rouser says she purposefully located her practice on the west side of Dayton to help meet the area's health care needs. I remain on a bus line because of the people that can't get to me. They need a bus. They need the art, you know, they need, um, Medicaid providers getting them to our their appointments. Dr. Rouser says having more black doctors and health care professionals benefits students coming into the field and the patients they serve. We understand their socioeconomic struggles. We understand their food choices or their traditions. Dr. Rouser says she wants to see the conversation continue beyond Courthouse Square. I want to have some good conversations with higher ups in our inst health care institutions and in our, you know, court systems. And we need to continue dialogue. We need to make changes. And White Coats for Black Lives is a national organization with local chapters all across the country. Now, Dr. Rouser says she hopes to see all the major health care providers in this area, including Premier, Kettering, and Dayton Children's, be involved in that conversation going forward. We're live tonight in downtown Dayton. Kristen Escow, 2 News, working for you.